Hi everyone, and thank you very much for all your great comments and questions on our uh, Transformer Prime uh, video that we did uh, yesterday for you. So we've got back together, and uh, we've got your comments here on our uh, computer, and we've got the Transformer Prime for a few more hours. And what we've tried to do is uh, answer some questions for you based on things that you've asked for. So the first one is the hardest one, is uh, RCAET need. We're gonna maybe put that on screen here. Um, you've asked about Flash Player. Now, you're right in your, in your question here, Android yeah, as a platform does use Flash. Uh, we've updated Flash uh, on this machine to Flash Player 11, uh, and we can actually show you 720p running on that uh, directly from a browser. So we'll show you that here. It looks very good, uh, very smooth, as it should be using the Tegra 3 chip. Okay, so the next question we've got is from Marcus40755, and his question was about uh, the pinch and zoom capability. And it is a good question because the pinch and zoom and other functions like that to do with tablets is a combination of both the software, in this case Honeycomb, uh, and the ability for the hardware to be able to keep up with it. I can say that uh, on the Transformer Prime, the pinch and zoom capability, uh, very, very strong. There's no lag, very smooth. Uh, it's a good screen anyway, you know, with a Gorilla Glass. Um, I don't have any issues with being able to control it. Now I've got a browser here and I'm opening and closing my fingers and I'm getting good uh, quality response from an enlargement point of view. Not forgetting, of course, when you, th when you are in things like a browser, you can double click to be able to expand a word and then double click uh, to bring that back down again to see the full browser. So thanks for the question. Okay, and the next question we've got is from 527 Andreas, and his question was about the browser capability. So right now, we're using the built-in browser. Obviously, there are other browsers available, like Opera, um, that, is, that is available through the Android market. But specifically, just using the one that's preloaded, uh, very quick to use again. You know, it's gonna be dependent a little bit on your network to be able to get the best performance. But if the network is optimum, at optimum uh, performance, uh, then you'll have a very good experience browsing. And again, because Flash is enabled, uh, you're gonna get uh, all of the different websites in their full, rich sort of content that you can get. Okay, the next question we've got is from Mono Boino. Apologies if I got that wrong. Uh, your question was about uh, your finger input and being able to write things with your finger or scribbling, those sort of things. So uh, built into the Transform Prime, there is an app called Supernote. So we just go into that here, and it's actually quite a good little piece of software because it enables you to either scribble with your finger freehand, or you can use a keyboard to enter text. Uh, it does have a few specific different uh, thicknesses of, uh, of like you know, strokes you can use that immediately shows up on the line that you wanted to. Uh, you can also have baseline to be able to help you put the strokes where you wanted to so that it looks like it's actually handwriting. Um, but the response is, again, very, very fast, very good. There's no lag. As soon as I enter my finger and, and do a letter, up it comes. Uh, it's all very freehand, looks very, very good. The next set of questions that we have is from a uh, gentleman called Jeremy Vidal. Hopefully I've pronounced the surname correctly. Uh, the first one is to show um, connection of the actual tab itself. Um, does it scratch? No, and, well, let's have a look. So we take it off here. As you can see, it's actually quite a tight fit and it does have some rubberized internals there to make sure that it doesn't scrape against it because the last thing you want is to harm some of these services here. So when we put it in, uh, because we've got these two slots here, which allow you to show some direction, um, there's no real chance of it not getting into place right away. We've done that 20 times, 30 times uh, since we've got it, and not once have we scratched the machine itself. The second question was about the charging cable. Uh, what length was it, uh, and was it of a sufficient length to be able to connect up to a PowerPoint all day, every day? So it's actually just a simple USB cable, fairly long, uh, about one meter. Now, not the length you probably want to have it as a permanent or replacement desktop machine, but to be honest, being a tablet, it's gonna be out and about, it's gonna be portable. It comes with this adapter here, so the USB goes in here and the proprietary connection goes into the, uh, goes into the tablet. Uh, the next question is, is it solid? Does it squeak at all? Well, again, we've been playing with it uh, for the last 24 hours, almost all of the 24 hours. And you can see here that there's no squeaking. Uh, it's a very, very solid machine. Because it uses uh, this metallized um, casing, uh, it makes it very, very sturdy. Uh, doesn't creak, doesn't uh, squeak. Um, it, it's, it's just a very solid, uh, non-squeaking machine. 
Uh, the next question was fingerprint resistant. Yeah, look, it's actually very, very good as far as fingerprints goes. I've got a bit of a sweaty palm because I'm so excited about this product, but uh, it still doesn't leave any marks on the, uh, on the, on the surface here, as you can see. It's, uh, it's actually quite good at not putting marks on the machine. Tell us what you think. We'd love to see your comments below and we'll answer any questions, so feel free to ask away.